The number of available jobs in the area remain relatively flat this week, and while that might sound bad, it's actually some good news for us. Jobs expert Dan Moran of Next Act reporting that the number of local job postings, a lead indicator of future hiring, came in at 1,755 posts this week. That is down by just 11 compared to the prior week. Moran says, though, that usually during a holiday week, the job postings do drop significantly. However, that did not happen here during this President's Day week. So just what does that mean for the Capital Region? Well, Dan is live in our newsroom tonight where another one of our Answers Team Jobs Bank is going on right now. And Dan, tell us first, how are those phone calls coming tonight? Briskly, to say the least. Uh, the phones are just ringing off the hook, and that's great news. Um, we got a lot of folks here to answer the phones as well, which is even good. But this is this is going to be one of the strongest job banks I've seen since we've been doing these. And that's that's great news. And that's uh, wonderful to hear because we do have so many jobs available. Mm -hmm. So uh, advising people stay on the phones for now. But you know, we want to talk about something else right now. Of course, we have this March first deadline that yes. is looming, or else the sequester takes effect. Mm -hmm. Seems like we've been down this road before, but now we have this stern warning about some of the consequences that we could see if it happens. That's true. You know, we were down this road a week before uh, New Year's, as I recall. And you know what? I did a lot of research to try to find out what is what's really going to happen. Well, first of all, on March first, you know, is our seven hundred thousand people or four hundred thousand people, whatever the number number you believe, uh, are going to lose their jobs? The answer is no. That's not going to happen. It'll be a rolling impact of the sequester as we go into as it goes in, into effect. But what we will see, Dory, in our own area, you know, we will see uh, uh, transportation uh, TSA agents that'll get cut back. We're going to see food inspections be cut back. Federal training programs be cut back. So it's not going to be actual headcount in the beginning, but it'll be the programs. And to contractors who do work with the federal government, they'll find their contracts being put on hold. So that's that's how it's going to impact the area. Uh, but it, it, it is a serious concern. Like any economic uh, concern, what it will tend to do, it will tend to slow the job market down. And that's what we don't want to see right now because we're at a real critical time and we mm -hmm. need to see some good job growth. Yeah, definitely. I mean, competition right now is still out there in the local job market. So you it add is. this into the mix. And while it might not be an immediate kind of a thing, it still could be, you know, dialed back over time. That's true. That's true. And, uh, and that's we, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing some good growth. We don't want to see anything get in the way. Uh, and I just I just hope that the uh, folks in Washington get their act together and make this thing go away in some way, every way <laughs> shape or form, because I don't think it's good news. Well, hopefully they're listening to you yeah. in saying that. And just real fast, tell us, uh, give us a little sample of some of these jobs that are available for people looking tonight. Oh, we have, uh, you know, the folks in the shop right here have jobs, every type of job you can think of in a retail store. And they uh, there's some great opportunities here. We have, a, we have a fair amount of technology jobs, manufacturing positions, uh, sales positions, you know, inbound sales positions with Time Warner. Uh, they, they're trying to hire 60 people a month. It's not the because they're growing. Yeah. It's growth. And that's kind of jobs we're seeing. So it's really across the board. And I can tell anybody listening, go to uh, cbs6.albany.com, check the job, uh, job bank postings, look at what jobs are there, and then pick up the phone and give us a call. Great. All right. I know you're on standby. And uh, we'll be upstairs to talk to one of the employers at 630. So thank you now, uh, Dan, and we'll let you get back to the phones. Thank All right? you.